Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. Girl, so listen, if you're looking for the latest in reality TV, influencer tea, pop culture and housewives, bitch, I got you covered. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be very thankful. All right, you guys, we need to talk because Lisa can keep a storyline. Brenda, she is like literally going down faster than fucking, I don't know, bitch. Like um, who went down fast? I don't know, bitch. Me on the second date. No, I'm just kidding. <gasps> just kidding. I don't know. Anyways, listen. So obviously, look, I watched the episode twice. Okay, when you're married to the real Andrew Beverly Hills, you your your life which is so cool because we're compatible in that we love the housewives ever since we met over 10 years ago we have been obsessed with the housewives so it is amazing but when when you live with andy who basically 99 percent covers housewives you're gonna have to analyze every episode bitch you know what i mean and he analyzes and it's taught me to analyze right um because, you know, before I was like, girl, she's so messy. But now I'm like, hang on, did you, do you remember in episode 14, minute 399, where Rinna said this, 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 and that, that's not adding up now. You know what I mean? So anyways, um, I watched that episode, the last one, and I'm telling you, I just do not believe her, not one bit. Crystal, I just feel very uncomfortable. Was it that bad? It was really bad. And I, I have to go. I feel triggered. I have PTSD. I have to go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Girl, shut the fuck up, okay? Shut the fuck up, Lisa Reyna. You know, I've never seen Kathy Hilton like this. That night, I saw the devil. Girl, this is not days of our lives. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Listen, anyways. Obviously, no one believes that Kathy Hilton. I do think Kat, they're, they're, they're probably Kathy Hilton got mad, right? But Kathy Hilton is smart enough, bitch, to know that when the cameras are on, you're going to shut the fuck up, right? I don't think that it was like Lisa Rinna said. I think that Kathy was maybe upset. Maybe she was drunk. Who knows? But I know for a fact. Well, I don't know for a fact, but let's just be real. But I just don't believe Lisa Rinna. That's the thing. I just don't believe her. Well, anyways, um, somebody asked Andy Cohen. Andy, you got to ask production why they didn't get any of this Kathy Hilton drama on camera. So he responds and says, cameras were done for the night, no cameras allowed in the club. Okay, so listen, I get all of that, right? I get that no no cameras are allowed in the club, that's fine. But this happened at the house when the girls from Atlanta went on that trip with Portia and Drew and, um, oh my God, what was that other girl's name? Portia. That the friend, I don't remember her name. Anyways, and that they were accused of doing things with Bolo. You know what I mean? There were cameras everywhere in the house and they were literally, you can see Candy and them throwing things over the cameras to block the cameras. So how come Atlanta girls get big brothered and, real, and Beverly Hills don't get big brothered with cameras all over the damn house, right? So that's that's like that's like red flag number one, honey. Listen, no, but for real. Now, what I'm trying to say is the following: I don't think that any of what Lisa Rinna said happened. I do think that maybe something did happen, okay? And I do think that Kathy Hilton has very, very important lawyers, and she has very, very important people on her in her corner. So I do think that Kathy Hilton maybe sent something to Bravo or said she'll walk. And the thing is that people, the audience loves Kathy Hilton. If I have to say Kathy Garcelle and um, Sutton and now Crystal have definitely saved this season because girl, everything else has just been super freaking toxic. You know what I mean? And for Lisa Rinna to sit there, you can tell, you can tell she's had a problem with everybody who comes in and is, and is phenomenally popular. Denise Richards, you know, uh, Lisa Vanderpump, um, Kim Richards, like she's always aiming to the popular ones. And Lisa Rinna is stuck in this role of like, you know, never a bride, always a bridesmaid or never winning prom 
queen or whatever the fuck. That's her mentality. And I feel like she wants to so bad be that bitch, but it's just missing so much for her to be that bitch. Because to be that bitch, yes, you have to have money, you have to have the fashions, you have to have the drama and the comebacks, but you also have to have a good heart and you also have to be real. And Lisa Rinna maybe is two of those things, which is uh, rich, okay? And maybe not that rich like the others, but she's rich. And you know what? She looks stunning in, in her confessional sometimes. So I just honestly feel like, you know, she's trying so hard to be liked and to be popular, but it's just not happening for Lisa Rinna because everybody can see right through her. And nobody, absolutely nobody, wants somebody who is so fake. You know what I mean? Like, that's why you see Luann. Luann, she was such a stuck up fake person in the beginning. And then she had to get real because people were like, we want real. Same thing with Camille. Same thing with, um, I had another person in mind, Kenya Moore. Like all of these women, they tried to play this character in the beginning and they're like, this is not how we're gonna win audiences. Yes, people love the drama. They love the cattiness, the bitchiness, the comebacks, but they do not like the fakeness. And and what Lisa Reyna has always done is be so incredibly fake. Well, anyways, I think that the camera situation is bullshit. I, I think that I'm pretty sure that um, somebody, there was someone in the car with them in production. They have literally filmed situations in Housewife Histories where somebody would take even a phone out. You know what I mean? So I think there's something a little much more in depth in that, but I don't think that what Lisa Rinna said, it's true. I just don't believe Lisa Rinna, I don't know. Maybe it is true, maybe not. But who cares if Kathy had a breakdown? You know what I mean? Lisa has had many breakdowns. I had a breakdown today. Don't you have a breakdown ever? Like, who cares? And don't you sometimes say things that are stupid? Who cares? Lisa Rinna has done many stupid things, many aggressive things, many dark things on camera. Kathy was smart enough to either, you know, uh, uh, threaten that she will walk or sue, or really there was no cameras around, so she was like, let me act up. You know what I mean? But... I just, the fact that like the, the, the fact that the ones who are hated the most are the ones pushing this, this story is crazy. Kyle, uh, Erica, and Lisa Rinna. It is insane to me that, and Diana Lip Linking Jenkins. It is insane to me that these four women who are not liked at all are trying to get the most popular girl in the group, the most liked girl in the group to be out, to be exposed. When in reality, what they're doing is they're just exposing themselves for being jealous, uh, you know, tired of standing in the sidelines, fake housewives. Do you know what I mean? And honestly, they can all go and I'd be okay. So what do you guys think? Do you think that there was no cameras? Do you think Andy's telling the truth? Or do you think that Kathy Hilton is very smart and she was like, you will delete this? Or do you think that it never happened? Let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.